Hello everybody, welcome to No Sevens Dice Club. We have a special guest in the studio with us. She's new to crap, so guys, don't give her too much, uh, too much uh, um, flack about it. Uh, she has started her own uh, cooking show and uh, her, uh, the special guest today is Cooking with Cleavage. And uh, I'm, gonna up, uh, I'm gonna send you the link, I'm gonna copy the link in the comments below so that way you guys can check out her new show uh, she, her first episode was, uh, the chocolate pudding. It was amazing. If you guys ever want to learn about homemade chocolate pudding, that is the, uh, the, the channel you want to go to. It shows you how to make chocolate pudding without any dyes or preservatives or anything else, especially the red dye that we're trying to all avoid. Uh, and then the next one, she is going to be doing a video in the next couple of days with, uh, barbecue. So if you guys want to learn about brining and barbecue, and how to make a great uh, mixed drink. Uh, that will be her next video and it's gonna be coming out in the next couple of days. Uh, but you guys are here for craps. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about craps. All the tables in Biloxi are $25 tables. Uh, the five and $10 tables I think died with the coronavirus in Biloxi. So now we are stuck with $25 high rolling tables. So in front of us, we are looking at a $500 bankroll that's all we have. Um, that's the minimum amount that I would suggest you guys to go into the casino with to try this strategy. And what we're going to do is we're going to play the short game and then we're going to get out the casino before the house edge turns against us. So we are going to do 110 on the inside. Um, we're going to, of course, if we're playing, we're going to have to drop a $25 chip for the pass line. If we're not playing, we do not have to play that $25 pass line. But since we're going to be shooting the dice, we will have that $25 pass line. Um, and like I said, we're gonna be playing a short game. So two hits will be $70, three hits will be 105, four hits, 140. And if you guys wanna keep playing beyond four hits, keep playing, but I'm just gonna tell you guys, play the ultra short game, get out the casino before the house edge takes advantage of you and you're, what, you're, and you're left with no money. So let's go ahead and get it started. We have $500 right in front of us and our lovely assistant is going to pick up the chips and she is going to move them into the rack for us. And the main thing too also guys is to have, thank you, is to have $50 in, in nickels. Uh, the rest can be all in, uh, in quarters if you want to. I broke it down so that way I have a little bit of extra quarters to, uh, to play with but I also have two black chips if, if it goes there. And what we're gonna do is just a simple uh, three finger grip. We're gonna set our dice and we're gonna try to establish a point. But before that, my assistant needs to grab one green chip and put it on the pass line for us. And what we are gonna do is, uh, and some people, you guys can play the horn bets if you wanna play the horn bets. Uh, I would suggest playing an $8 horn bet, uh, so that way you're covering yourself in case you do hit any of the craps numbers, but we're not going to worry about that today. We're just going to go ahead and shoot this video, and that would be a perfect example. 12-12, so we lose our $25, so go ahead and take down the, uh, the pass line and put that in right there, yep, and then we just need another $25 on the pass line. So that's two. That's one. Just one. One more of these. Yep. And so we're going to try to establish another point and see how we do. So right now we are at $450 in our rack. All right. So we're looking at the 4-4. Four, four, so that is the hard 8. So she's going to slide the 8. She's going to slide the point marker to the 8. With this one? No, no. The, the on marker. And... Thank you. And then she's going to set up the board for us. So we're going to do one green on the five, one green on the nine. And then what we are going to do is we are going to, if, if you guys want to, we're going to put one green on the six and one red on the six. Green. And a red. Oop, right on the six. And we are going to, uh, and if you guys want to, we can do um, we can play on the eight, but since it's a $25 table and we're looking to get out, we're not going to worry about the eight. So the only thing right now we have is $80 on the board, of course, and our pass line bet. So we're just going to keep on shooting and see how we do. What we're trying to do is get two or three hits 
and get out of Dodge. All right, so that's the three three, so that is the six. So we're gonna subtract $80. So we're at 370 right now, but she is gonna go ahead and pay us $75, uh, $35. It's gonna go in the rack. There you go. So we're gonna add $35. And right now we're at 405, the dice please. Thank you. And this is her first time ever playing craps, even She'd never play craps at the table, never play craps here with me either. So I'm really excited that she has come and joined us. So it is a nine. So that is another $35. She's going to add in the rack and she's going to bring it into view. As you can see, the six, three, that is the nine. And then our lovely uh, lady. Two greens. No, uh, two reds and one green. Oh. There you go put it in the rack. All right, so we're looking at 440. She's going to bring the dice. And so right now we've made $70. So we have the option that we can go ahead and pull down our bets right now and just play for the point or we can keep on throwing. It is totally up to you guys, but we're going to try one more and see how we do. All right, so that's the 314. We do not get paid on the on the 4. So with this, if I was at the casino, I would go ahead and pull down, take the $70. And, uh, and just walk away, but we're gonna try one more time. Pass the dice, please. You can this keep. goes away, right? No, no, we can keep it up there. We, uh, we, didn't, we didn't go out yet. And whenever, oh, we had a, whenever we had a seven, that's when the game ends. We just don't get paid because we don't have it on the four. Because oh. we're playing inside. All right, so that is the three, five. So we hit our point marker. So the three, five, that is an eight. So we are not going to get paid $35, but we are going to collect $25 on the pass line. So she's going to put $25 in the rack. And then uh, she's going to hit the, uh, grab the point marker. And she's going to turn it off. There you go. And so with this, I will go ahead and turn off my bets and, uh, and just pull down and, uh, either pass the dice or just play and see what I get. So I hit a seven, that's a six, one, seven. So we're gonna collect $25. It's gonna go in our rack. So right now we're at $490. Just one green, just one green, just one green, there you go. And then she's gonna slide the dice to us. And we're gonna do a short video. We don't wanna do this video too long. And uh, we're just gonna show you one time to see how we do. All right, so that's the 314. So you're going to slide the dice over to you, and then you're going to take the off marker, flip it around, and you're going to put it on the four. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take it out of the rack, and we're going to put one green and one red on the eight. Awesome. She is doing awesome, guys. I do appreciate it. Her lovely assistance, and her show is Cooking with Cleavage. Uh, it's a really good show. Everybody uh, has really great reviews about it. Um, and you guys will learn a lot. So that is a 2-1. Two, two like yep, it's a 2-1, so that is a 3. So we do not get paid off the 3. Oh. It's all right. It was right. It's okay. It was like this. Yep, there you go. <laughs> so... But she's gonna, uh, her show is that she is gonna show you how to make mixed drinks, how to do bartending skills, uh, barbecue, cooking, uh, salads, whatever you guys wanna learn uh, as far as cooking, maybe to impress your girlfriend, your wife. That is the uh, person you wanna learn from. Or if you guys wanna learn how to make some really cool uh, drink uh, bartending skills, she's been bartending forever. So you'll learn a lot from her. All right, so that is the 5-3, so that is the 8, so we are going to get paid another $35. So she's going to put $35 in the rack. Yep. 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 One, one green and two, <laughs> two red. I'll get it <laughs> By the time the video ends, it will be, will be all set. <laughs> so. All right, and what we're going to do is we've already made um, back all of our money. We're at 525 so if we were to pull down our bets right now, we would walk away with a profit of about $140. And that's all we're trying to do. We're trying to get in and out. All right. And that would be our last roll because that is a 617. 
So that would be pretty much the end of our video. That is the seven, so the point marker is going to go off. And that's the reason why we played a short game. And, uh, and then if we would have pulled down our bets, we would have had, uh, we would have collected $110. So let's go ahead and do that. We would have had $110. We would have been at 635 if you would have pulled down. We had a, a $500 uh, dollar bankroll. We would have cashed out at 635. We would have lost our $25 bet pass line. But this is how you guys can play the 110 inside. It's a very short uh, video. Uh, something real simple, something easy to get you in and out the casino. Like I said, two hits, $70. That's all you need. Three hits, 105. Anything more, guys, I think you guys are just getting a little greedy. And, uh, and, you're, and you're weighing the, the house's edge back into the house's favor, not playing that short game. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for tuning in. And remember to check out uh, our lovely assistant, uh, Cooking with Cleavage. Check out her video for great cooking tips and bartending skills. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you guys later.